hi beautiful people welcome back to dirty for you's channel today real quick i'm going to share with you yet another simple but delicious and needed recipe in everybody's fridge so real quick i'm just going to go ahead and then show you the ingredients that we will be needing for this Don't recipe ginger so i have here a piece of ginger garlic Habanero pepper, orange bell peppers, I have scallions, green pepper, red pepper, yellow pepper, I have one uh, a half cup of oil, I got a cup of fish powder, you can use shrimp powder but guys the fish powder and the shrimp powder in this recipe is optional. If you don't have them you can still make this recipe and then you will love it i have one medium size onions a half tablespoon of rosemary the dried ones but if you have the fresh ones you can use it i have one maggie stock cube and then salt to taste so guys let's get into this recipe what i'm going to do now is that i'm going to toss all the veggies in a blender and then blend them So guys, now I'm blending it. I'm not going to blend it very, very smooth. You don't need to blend it very smooth. I'm going to add in the oil to it at this time. So I have in a half cup of oil. At this time, we're going to let it heat and then we will add in the blended mixture. Just going to... So whilst we have it on, I'm just going to stir everything in like this. Have to cook it on a medium heat. We're just going to let it let the water in it simmer. This doesn't take long to cook. It should be ready after 15 to 20 minutes. Then our pepper, mixed pepper sauce is all done, guys. You can eat this with rice, king cake, fried yams, plantains, banku. It goes on well with a lot of things. So it's very simple. It's like, for me, it's like a substitute for shito. What shito can do, this one can do. So it's like a substitute of shooter like for me. As you can see, it's uh, when this is ready, you can see it's ready when you see that the oil is starting to come up on it. Right, I don't really love uh, using a lot of oil in my cooking, but if you want to use a lot of oil, you can use it. But uh, one thing is that if you use a lot of oil, it helps it to uh, to fry faster than using small amount of oil, you know. So guys, when making this recipe, you need to stir it frequently to prevent it from burning. But it tends to burn really fast so we need to stir it very frequently to prevent it from burning so it's been eight minutes now, and as you can see the water in it is simmering down so we're just going to let it be on fire still and then we keep an eye on it to prevent it from burning it's very easy to make you don't waste a lot of time on this recipe So it's been um, 15 minutes now and you can see that the oil is starting to come out. So at this time we are going to just add in the Maggi stock cube and then the fish powder to it at this time. So guys, once again, I said the fish powder is optional. You don't have to have it in and you still have a nice recipe. So at this time I'm going to add it all in. And then we taste for salt and if salt is needed then we will add salt to it because you know that uh, the maggi stock cube already has some salt in it i'm adding in the fish powder 
that is a quarter cup of that and then I will add in the Maggi stock cube then we stir it in and then we take the salt yes point I saw that I was still needed a little bit of salt so I'm just going to go ahead and then add salt to it so we're just going to let it be on fire for at least five to eight minutes then voila it's all done guys just look at this you can eat it with anything it can be paired with a lot of thin everything that you need to add a sauce to it stew to it this will go well with it it's all ready just look at it guys just look at it it goes really well with anything it's all ready now it's all ready so at this time we're just going to turn off the heat it's all ready and at this time i'm just going to serve it right now at this time oh guys just look at it